morning, my little goblins. Since we're almost to Halloween, spooky season, I'm I'm excited. I'm not excited for the cold. So like it was in like the like 80s, 90s, and then we had like a rainstorm, and then it was like into like the high 60s, low 70s, and I was not here for it. I was freezing. It was freezing in my office. I hated it. But hello, my little goblins. How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, then hi, my name is Carrington, and I am really glad that you are here. I hope that you do consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the little bell to be notified of all my future uploads, as well as if this is your 10th, 105th, or second time here, and you still have not hit that subscribe button or clicked the little bell, then please do so you can be notified of all my future uploads, and let's go ahead and let's get started. So we've tried out some Menagerie products. I've had one in my shop, my stash. I just did a recent video, I will link that down below. Again, trying out more Menagerie products. And I thought today would be a great day to try out the Flight Club palette. So, isn't it cute? Like it's got like this cute little bat, like a little fruit bat just sitting there eating all of its fruit. So cute. And then here's like the inside. So we definitely have some like neutrals. We have like, yeah, we have a couple neutral options, but it's definitely more of like a, that pinky purple kind of a palette. Definitely cute. It's got a little mirror. And then it says, I've got a bat attitude. I love that. I think that's cute. All right. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create a look with this palette, let you know what I think of this palette. So if you guys are excited to see my opinions, what look I come up with, then definitely, most definitely, Keep on watching. So let's first start off with some swatches. So starting with the top row, we have Fruity Feast, we have Squeaks, Sky Puppy, Nocturnal. Onto the second row, we have Hanging Out, Downside Up, A Little Batty, and Flighty. Now for the last row, we have Flying Fox, Mega Bat, Winging It, and last we have After Dark. These all swatch. All right, let's start off into our first shade right here. I'm gonna go into a little baddie and I'm just gonna take that on the brush. There's some kick up in the pan, but it does coat the brush nicely. So let's see what happens when we put it on our face. Oh, I just lost on it. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna sit there and take it and just like Smoke it on out. All right, so there are the eyes with the transition color. It's very nice, very, very pigmented. There is some kick up in the pan, but I haven't really noticed any fallout on the face. So, so far it is looking great. So we're gonna move on into our next shade. We're gonna go into the shade. Let's do winging it right here. And we're going to just place that lower into the crease on a little bit more of a dense brush. Again, the fault, there's some slight kick up in the pan, but let's see what happens with the eyes. Last, we're going to go into the shade right here called Flighty, and we're going to put that on the outer corner. That has a lot of kick up, but wow, did that like one dunk go to the brush. So I'm not mad at it. All right, let's see. This one does have fallout on the face. I don't know if you can tell, but definitely has some fallout on the face. We definitely had some mass casualty fallout on the faces. I'm gonna go clean it up, prime my eyelids with my NYX glitter glue so we can come back and try out some shimmers. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go in with a shimmer. I'm gonna start with this one right here called Hanging Out. I'm just going to take that and kind of do like the center of my eyelid, center, middle, outer part of my eyelid. Really adhering to that uh, base really nicely, the NYX glitter. Alright, and then I'm going to take this little shade right here called Fruity Feast and put that on my pinky. And just focus that more towards like the inner portion of my lid. So here are my eyes finished for the most part, minus, you know, 
mascara, things like that. I really do like this palette. I think it has some really, really good qualities to it. Again, I wasn't able to play with like every shade, but I played with three mattes and I played with two shimmers and overall the quality really does impress me. Um, I'm going to go off camera now, finish the rest of my face off of camera so that way we can come back and then give you kind of my final thoughts. All right, I am back. The rest of my face is now complete. Um, so let's go ahead and let's talk about my final thoughts of this palette. So first things first, there are there is kick up in the pan. Um, whenever I dipped into any of these, not a huge deal breaker for me. Um, the other two shades, <clears throat> these two right here, I didn't have any fallout on the face. But the shade Flighty, I did have quite a bit of fallout on the face. Um, and then when using these shimmers, I didn't really notice it until I went to do the rest of my makeup off of camera. But I did have some light falling out on the face as well. And I did use a, a glitter glue. I use a glitter glue for glitters, shimmers, metallics, um, for this, for my eyelids. Um, and even with that, I still had some falling out. Um, I will say this compact is really nice and weighted. <clears throat> the artwork is so, so, so cute. I love this color store. I think this is a great like purpley pink kind of palette if that's something that you're really into. <clears throat> I like that it has a nice mirror. I like how it has this cute little saying like I've got a bat attitude. I they always do something super cute on the like palettes. Um, but overall I'm really satisfied with my eye look. I think this is beautiful. I think this is definitely like a very like witchy purple look and I'm like here for it. Like that's one of my favorite things about fall. It's like the witchy vibes that you get I don't know that's just me personally I didn't have any issues with them blending I didn't experience any patchiness I felt like all the colors worked really well together um the end look is really nice and cohesive like I, I don't think there's anything really bad to say about this palette except for the fallout and the kick up if that's something that you mind for me I don't mind that just means that I need to do my eyes first um or make sure that my eyes are prepped underneath so I could just sweep away the fallout. For, but for me personally, I always do my eyes first. Um, I really do love this. I love the color selection. I love the names. Like just like Sky Puppy is so cute. Flying Fox. Like they really did put a lot of like effort into this palette. I like the magnetic closure. Um, I think that overall this is a really great palette this palette was like $30 $39 something like that I feel like for the price point and the quality I feel like that is 100% worth it this is definitely a great purple palette especially if you don't have a lot of purple palettes or maybe you have purple palettes but the quality isn't quite there I would say go ahead and check this one out because the quality is definitely there the price point is fair I got my packages I want to say fairly quickly um, I didn't have to wait like an extensive long time. So this is definitely a great palette. I definitely would recommend this if you are in the market for a nice purple palette. All right. And that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did and you want to join this dumpster fire of a channel, because that's what we are. We're just a little bit of a dumpster fire. Um, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the little bell so you be notified of when I post. Don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. That lets me know you guys enjoy seeing palette tryouts. Let me know down below in the comments what other palettes you would want me to try out for Menagerie. I have all of their palettes. Let me know if there's another brand you think I might be interested in that you would want my honest opinions on. I know I tried to buy as much as I can from both like Ulta, Sephora, things like that. But if you think there's another indie brand I might like or maybe another high-end brand that you don't get at Ulta or Sephora that you think I might like, definitely put those in the comments and I can definitely go and check those out and try to give you guys an honest review on those. But that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you did. I'm so glad that you guys are here. But I will see you in my next one. Bye!